How's it, everyone? My name's Aaron Nehera, and I just want to give a quick update to the last video I posted a couple days ago. As you might know, I had the opportunity yesterday to jump aboard a vessel that was headed to the west side of Maui to drop off essential items, and I want to talk about that experience. But I just quickly want to recap what's happening here on Maui right now. As you know, on August 8th, Maui was hit by three different wildfires, one in upcountry Kula, one in the Pulehu Kihei area, and one in Lahaina. So far, for the county of Maui and other news outlets, there have been over 2,200 structures destroyed, both residential and commercial, 2,170 acres burned, and 4,500 people displaced and needing shelter. The cost to rebuild currently sits at $5.5 billion, and currently, the death toll sits at 80, but we expect that number to significantly rise. As I said before, my involvement with all this is just to get this message out and spread as far and as wide as possible. Because of the video I sent out a few days ago, I was contacted by the Development Assistance Solutions Foundation to see how they could assist in the relief efforts, mainly by way of monetary donations and providing essential items like fuel, gas cards, and generators. I was then presented with an opportunity to jump aboard a vessel with my friend Kaeo Decoit, who is bringing a truckload of propane tanks to the harbor to load up on a boat and to bring these items to the west side. My goal was to capture the experience and update the community of Maui as well as the world of just some of the many, many things that the people of Maui are already doing to bring relief. As soon as we parked, the crew set up a chain and unloaded all the propane. In a matter of minutes, the tanks and the crew were ready to set sail under the orders of Captain Chris Walsh. The atmosphere on the boat was mixed. It was emotional. Some were full of hope and chatting with other crewmates while others stood at the rail deep in thought as we rounded Ma'alaya and ran parallel to the Pali, heading up towards Lahaina and Ka'anapali. I took this time to chat with some of the crew members and the first person I talked to was Jack Coleman, who resides in Waluku. He stated that he recently got involved with bringing items to the west side because he knew some of the captains and crew members. He had a mission to bring gas to people he had contacts with on the west side who needed gas for the generators so that they could cook food for the neighborhoods. Another person I spoke with, Benny, who was a mechanic for the Pacific Whale Foundation, he was one of the families who had lost everything in the fires in Lahaina. He said that jumping back on the boat and helping to transport essential items to the west side was a no-brainer. He 100% believes in the community of Maui and has no doubt that we can recover from this. As I went below deck, the main cabin was stuffed with donations. You'll find everything ranging from toiletries, diapers, baby wipes, band-aids, and Tylenol, to cases of water, peanut butter, walking canes, slippers, ramen noodles, rice, propane, and fuel. On the chairs, you'll find boxes upon boxes of more non-perishable foods filled with granola, canned meat, tea, can openers, raisins, and flashlights. When I had asked some of the crew of where the donations came from, they said they weren't quite sure. They knew that some of the donations came from when the Pacific Whale Foundation put out a social media post. They also know that some of the different businesses and charities that are collecting donation items also contributed to what they are bringing to the west side. As we approached the drop-off location, the crew sprang into action, forming two chains on either side of the boat, transferring all the items from the main cabin to the bow, ready to be offloaded. As the people began to filter out onto the beach, they were under the direction of the crew members who were stationed at the drop-off location. As soon as the steps were let down, the chain was formed and the items were transferred person to person from the boat all the way up the beach to the grass area where they staged everything. The atmosphere was intense. There were several point people who were calling out what each item was, whether the items were in open containers or dry boxes. Once the last item was delivered, everyone let out a cheer knowing that their job for at least in this moment was done. As soon as I was able to, I got off the boat and I walked among the people as they were gathering their items. There were all kinds of people there, from young kids to older adults, to parents with children. Some people were even grabbing items from multiple families who couldn't be present at the drop-off. I got to speak to one of the local residents, Jay, and he told me that he was grateful for everything that the boats brought over. He told me that he was doing okay and that they did have the things they needed. But when I asked if he'd like to talk story on camera, he clammed up a little bit and said he was shy, but he later confessed that it was hard for him to talk about the loss of his family's house. I told him no worries and that I wasn't going to force him to share anything he wasn't ready to talk about yet. But before he went back to his truck and drove off, I made sure to give him a good hug to let him know that there are people here on Maui that are doing everything that we can to support them. 
After the staging area was empty and hugs were exchanged by the residents and crew members before the residents drove off, I began to think deeply about what I just experienced as I walked on the sand back to the boat. I was completely overwhelmed. This was just one drop off, one. One of many efforts by the people of Maui trying to get supplies over to the west side, either by boat or by car, even by helicopter. There are so many people who are in need and everyone is trying to do what they can to meet those needs. It was an honor to be aboard the Pacific Whale Foundation and to witness what just normal everyday volunteer people from Maui are doing. As I said before in my other video, I cannot understate the importance of financial contributions. Right now, everyone is going out and filling up their cards, buying donations for their friends and family and the people that are on the west side. But what about tomorrow? What about next week or next month? How are we going to be able to afford buying supplies for 4,500 people who have no home, who have no jobs, and who are trying their best to provide for their families? This message needs to go out far and wide to those who have the means to donate financially. Please continue to donate to these organizations, the Maui United Way, the Maui Food Bank, Maui Mutual Aid, and the Hawaii Community Fund. And also, please consider donating to the Pacific Whale Foundation, who's using the funds to buy supplies and fuel to take these boat trips out to the west side and deliver essential items to the people. The links to those organizations can be found on my website. You can see it in my bio or on my Instagram story. For those who are off island, again, the best way to help out is through monetary donations. Any of these organizations is going to go towards the people of Maui and it's going to help out a ton. If you're on island and you're looking for something to do, if you've already donated and filled up all your cars buying supplies then go visit the shelters if you know how to play music go bring your instruments and go play music for the people at the shelters bring smiles to people's faces if you know how to cook go check out with some local churches the ones who are feeding the first responders i heard that the need for volunteers at nighttime is also the greatest and real quick i just want to be an encouragement to those who feel discouraged because they can't do what others can not everyone can go and, and stand outside for hours and hours loading trucks and driving to the west side. Not everyone can go to the shelters and spend hours and hours there because we've got families at home and we've got children to take care of. But I believe everyone can do something and it's as simple as raising your voice, it's sharing your message, it's sharing people's videos, sharing people's stories and getting the message out. We need your help to keep the boats and cars fueled, the truck loads full and the people filled with hope. Please share this video, comment down below to share any encouraging words to the people of Maui, for your friends, for your family, and consider to donate to any of the organizations on my website. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to direct message me. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys soon.